Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of lines and line segments. This is standard 4.6a in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 8 off the 2019 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have four different drawings here, F, G, H, and J, and we're looking for, we want line M to be perpendicular to line K. And so we can actually represent that like this. We want M, here's actually our symbol for perpendicular, it looks like an upside down capital T to line K. And so what exactly does that mean? Well, we've got two major terms we need to define here because we're going to end up finding both in this problem. We've got parallel. And then we have what we're actually looking for, perpendicular. So what are parallel lines? Because we're going to differentiate those from our perpendicular lines. They are lines. That don't intersect, that means they don't cross ever, and stay the same distance apart. So they never get, they never cross each other, they never get any closer to each other, but they never get any farther from each other. They run parallel or the same distance apart. So an example might be. You've got two lines, think of like a road on the highway, you've got two lines on either side. Those would be a good example of parallel lines. And quite honestly, when I think of the word parallel, I think of these two lowercase l's inside the word parallel, those are actual parallel lines. So the two l's in parallel are parallel. So we're looking not for parallel, we're looking for perpendicular. So these are intersecting lines, that means they do cross, they do touch but they have a specific thing they do. They form a right angle. Now, we might call it a right angle. Sometimes you might see it as a 90 degree angle, same thing. Sometimes it's easier just to call it a square corner because that's the sometimes that best visual. And so I always think of it kind of like this, one is straight up, one is straight across, and sometimes if they really want you to know it's perpendicular, they'll give you that little box right there. Now, it doesn't always have to be straight up and straight across. It can be kind of diagonal. Really, you just got to think, does that look like it's a square corner? So that's what we're looking for. So we're looking for line M and line K. So like, let's take a look at F. You've got line M right here, and you've got line K right here. Well, they don't intersect. Actually, it looks like they are the same distance apart. So instead of saying M and K are perpendicular, what we have here, we can say M, we can say is actually parallel to line K. So it's not what we want. Now, M is perpendicular to R, and so is K. K is also perpendicular to R. So if you wanted to include R, that would work, but we're just looking for M and K. So we've got M, it does intersect with K right here. That is definitely not a square corner because look, we've got some obtuse angles up here. We've got some acute angles on the side. So these are just what we call that third option. They're just intersecting lines. There's no special symbol for that. There's nothing fancy. They just cross and they don't make any special angle. So they are intersecting lines. We're getting closer, but that's not really what we're looking for. M and K, well, it doesn't appear that they actually cross, but since we've got arrows right here, we can actually extend this line down. The arrow means it goes on forever and ever and ever. So it actually does, but once again, it just looks like it intersects. That's all we have is intersecting lines. Let's hope it's J. Here's my M and there's my K. Look at that. One is vertical, one is horizontal. Look at that nice square corner. So yes, M is definitely perpendicular to K in answer selection J, which is our answer.